you guys have to limit your whys more than maybe I do. I can have a deeper conversation, I think, at this level and that level. Uh, you know your players. But to me, we work inside foot up, outside foot back. That's probably how I would do it. Uh, but the, everything's based off of that. That's how I've operated. It's um, the end zone for a coverage, uh, It doesn't really matter because you're going to release anyways, right? Your steps are kind of off. But uh, the only problem you have is, oh, hey, coach, I had press coverage. Well, then he bailed. Well, now it's not press coverage anymore. Your feet are switched. So I wouldn't look on that path. I would say I would decide on one and then be uh, firm with it. This is how we do it. This is how we maximize the speed. Run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And then yeah. based on the side of the run, this is your feet. Inside foot up, outside the foot back. The 20. Again, we get that. Uh, I appreciate you guys. You go for everyone. Ravens yeah, touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Ingram. Yeah. 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 75 yards uh, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening uh, quarter. Said, I will give you my card. You guys can send me a text. Wow, first uh, play of the game, see, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lines. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And a nifty right. return so there as he's all the way up it. past the 40 it. yard line. Um, again, well, he gave up the first base touchdown base of the game, but how about much. the response? No, no Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Oh, good. How'd it go? Oh, yeah. Good. I do the other guys. Let me the best one. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. A first carry now. This is Williams. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That'll go as a loss of five. And it'll be a second and long. Travis Kelsey. Oh, a second dosage. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Yeah. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But uh -huh. big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Williams. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. Pernell McPhee in there on the stop. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because mm -hmm. early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. On second down now. It's Williams. And nowhere mm -hmm. for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Back-to-back back stops break. make it third and ten. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted right. in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
Well, this is simply a great read by a defensive back. It's third and 10, so he sits right on where the yard to gain marker is, knows it's going to be a route around that distance, makes his read, breaks on the football, and makes a terrific play. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Jackson now off the bootleg. This one complete to Ingram. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, there defensively to make the play. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On is the punter, Cook, who sends it away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they've got it with a second and four coming up after one seven nothing on EA Sports. Just shy of midfield, Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Working from the gun, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 27 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. On the counter, Ingram. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. 
Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. A lot of scrimmage. The 37 on first and 10. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on, right, and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. Well, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm Brandon Gauden. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's Jackson. They go screen. This is Ingram. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of 8. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Kelsey, the intended receiver there, but it's going to be second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one taken just inside the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Let's go, 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They do go for it. It's Mahomes escaping the pressure right. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Not sure I agreed with the decision to go for it, but I definitely agreed with his decision to run it. He picked up that big first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more happy than the quarterback picking it up, it's the coach that saw him pick it up. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing on second down. Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. You know they wanted. You know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know. Maybe there's something to that. It must have been a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe. Just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Uh, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here we go. Fourth down. Mahomes flush to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. 